welcome back to my channel. So I know I didn't have a video for you guys last week. I got really caught up. Um, but I do have a couple videos for you this week. We have the Ipsy Glam bag. We have the Icon box. And we have a Boxy Charm. So I'm super, super excited. I broke them down into three different videos for you guys. I'm going to try and get at least two up this week and then one next week. So we're going to go ahead and start with the Icon box because <laughs> I cannot wait to dig in this thing and see what is in here. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am so freaking excited right now because I see a brand in here that I know is high-end and super expensive. So let's go ahead and start with it. Okay, so the first item we have is from Drunk Elephant. Oh my goodness, Drunk Elephant, you guys. Like, what? <laughs> um, this is the Silk Amino Conditioning Leave-In Milk. I I've never tried their hair care. I've always tried their skin care and I freaking love it. I hate that it's so expensive, but I love it. Um, so this is actually really, really exciting. It says a multitasking leave-in conditioner, styling milk and heat protectant that strengthens, smooths and deeply moisturizes hair while giving soft, flexible hold. Silk amino acids and proteins re rebuild weakened hair bonds, strengthening and smoothing damaged color processed and dry strands. Nourishing plant-derived oils, um, I'm not even going to say those words because it's just naming the oils. Replenish and seal in moisture while restoring shine and manageability for a fuss and frizz free, frizz free finish with or without heat styling. This is going straight to my bathroom. I cannot wait to try this. I am so excited. I'm so freaking excited. All right. We are off to a good start. Oh my gosh. There is another high end brand in here. <sighs> Wow, okay, we have something from Pat McGrath. <laughs> I don't think we've ever gotten two like really high-end brands in this box so far, so this is just like, you guys, I cannot stop smiling. Like, I know I have a little bit of blush on, but I am cheesing hard. Okay, so this is Pat McGrath, and this is a mascara, the Dark Star, Dark Star Mascara. I have never, ever tried a Pat McGrath mascara, so I'm super, super excited to try this. I love testing mascara, so this one, this is really exciting for me. Oh, I'm so happy right now. All right, moving on, we have another item from Murad. I actually really enjoy Murad skincare, so this is super exciting as well. Uh, this is a rapid collagen infusion um, with collagen and amino acids. All right, it says fast acting treatment with a topical filler like effect plumps skin plumps skin's surface to minimize the look of lines and wrinkles after just one use. Are we definitely going to have to test this out? <laughs> this ain't going nowhere. So, this is what it looks like. I'm excited to try that out, especially cuz I got some more forehead lines showing up that I want to kind of hide. So, that's awesome. The next item is from LYS Beauty. Um, this is a glossy lip treatment oil duo. Very nice. So the shades are OG and lovable. This is what the packaging looks like. I don't really use too many lip oils. Glossy lip treatment oil. But I'll give it a try. Um, I'll probably start with maybe the clear one, not the tinted one, and we'll just go from there and see how I like it. The next item is from Herbivore. This is the Supernova Brightening Eye Cream. I actually was looking for a new eye cream to test out, so this is really exciting that this is in here. This is like perfect timing. Um, yeah. It says brighter skin that is out of this world. Well, I will be the judge of that, right? Um, hold on. I am not too crazy about the smell. Mm. It smells like a, like a sour lemon, like a, an old lemon head maybe. Mmm, mmm, I don't know. Okay, I don't know about that one. <laughs> Have you guys, like, heard of this, tested it out, know anything about it? Let me know down in the comments below um, because I am not feeling that scent. So maybe we could try it. Maybe it'll go away. 
I don't know. The next item is from Michelle. Michelle Beauty. Um, I know I murder these names. I'm so sorry, you guys. This is a setting spray. Um, so, is it this is what it looks like. Of course, shake before use. Let's see what kind of mist this gives. Oh, oh, nice. Just a, it does have a fine mist, but it kind of squirts some, some heavy ones out there. So <laughs> that might be a miss for me. Um, cause I like a little bit more of a fine mist, kind of like the, the glow recipe watermelon spray. It's just a very, very light, fine mist. And I love that kind of setting spray. This is a little bit more, uh, heavy. And like I said, I, I kind of got some globs on the face. So, well, that one wasn't bad. Okay. That one wasn't bad. Maybe I'll just keep testing it out. Maybe that was just like a one-time thing. We'll see. The next item is from Danessa Merrick's Beauty. I have never heard of them. This is a duet balm, highlighting face and body balm. Okay. Lightweight, smooth, and silky translucent highlight and hydrating balm for an instant glass skin fresh flow. Apply using your fingers, a brush, or a sponge for a desired effect. I am so curious. I've never used anything like this before. I don't know if I ever would. Like, I want to get a test out. And this is in the shade Rose Water. Hmm. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. Very pretty. That is really pretty. That is what it looks like. Should we just put, like, it's like it's supposed to be like a skin balm. <laughs> the degligé, is that what that's called? Hmm. Am I glowing? I don't think I'm glowing. I don't think I'm glowing. Uh, you would definitely have to be out in the sun to glow. I, I see how it like reflects. I don't know if you can on camera, um, but you're you're gonna have to be out in the bright sun in order to see that. I do see where it's applied though because of the color, the shade. But ain't nothing over here glowing. Yeah, it's it for body, right? It says lightweight, smooth, hydrating balm. Uh, where, where did I see that? For face and body. Now it just looks like I'm bred down there. This is not going to work for me. This is, this, that's a no for me. Sorry. Oh, lovely. Now I'm all kinds of red. <laughs> that's okay. All right, guys, we got one more item. And it is from, it looks like it's from Too Faced. But it's not. I guess it's not. This is from Modest 10 millimeter intense black. So the, the Quick Flick. The Quick Flick, I guess that's the name of the brand. It's a um, an eyeliner where it helps you do like a wing. And I really suck at wing. wing, wing and I really suck at wings. Like bad like bad bad and that's mostly because I have like what is it described as like downturned eyes mature eyes and hooded eyes and all the type of like sucky that, <laughs> that you can have going on in order to do a wing this side comes out longer than this side does so I could create like a decent wing on this side but then it's like wonky on this side it, it's just a hot mess I never have any luck and sometimes these things will work for me um, sometimes they don't. I usually just stay away from wings just because it's so complicated and I don't want to like, especially if I have my makeup done and I'm like really feeling my makeup, I do not want to take the chance of like ruining it trying to, to trying to do a, a wing. Um, okay, so 
This is for the left, and then this is for the right. So, there's that, and then they give you a pen to, to fill it in. It's kind of thick, don't you think? It's not, definitely not like a fine tip. It's kind of, that's kind of chunky. <laughs> and then this is the right side. So these, this is what you would put, I don't know if you can see it, but this is what you would put on the outer portion of your eye and then you would connect the liner to this. Um, these actually look kind of thick. You would definitely have to probably thin that out some because I think that's just too, you know what, we're just, we're going to try it. I, I'm going to suck at it. You guys can laugh. That's totally fine by me. I'll laugh with you guys. It is, mm, like I said, these are thick. So, um, it's best for me to look straight on because like I said, this part of my hood comes down way below my freaking eye, which is so annoying. So, but I'd have to put this about there. You see how thick that is? Like, I, I know you see how thick that is. That's crazy thick. And then you would connect it like that. That's still so thick. And then you would continue, like I didn't have mascara on. And then that's what it would look like. And like I said, that end is so thick. Like who? I look like a clown. That is not going to work for me. And then we can try and thin this out with a wipe. That's still like, now that it looks like, now it looks super long. <laughs> what the actual okay that is not gonna that's not that's not gonna work that's not gonna work what if we shorten it try to shorten it i guess that's a little bit better should i do the other side just for cause and effect and then i might have to like wipe off my mascara and do this all over again why not why not? And another thing with these is you have to get the angle right. Like how I did this side, which is now just completely fudged up. We're going to do this side too. <sighs> Lord have mercy. And then just drag that down. And they look completely different. <laughs> this one actually ended up being a lot better than this one did. You guys, what do you think? Does it look as bad as I think it does? <laughs> it's still two different wings. Like, I, I, I don't know. I tried. All right. So, quickly, let's go back over 
this box before I have to like wipe all this off so I can film the next unboxing for you guys so you don't have to be like what what is she doing I wish I could do wings like at least I kind of got them a little bit similar this one's longer this one's a little bit more I like it um I think they're at like different angles anyways okay like I said so we got the eyeliner stamp which I mean it's a decent concept if you guys can get it to work for you I just can never I can never get it to work for me and that's fine we have the lip oils which I'm actually excited to try we have the setting spray which um, ended up working out I tested it a couple more times uh, as, as I took a break and um, I liked the way that it sprays that was really nice we have the body wet balm it's not gonna be my cup of tea the shade is too dark it it's just it, it's not gonna work for me we got the uh, we got the eye cream which I am excited to for to try I'm not too thrilled about the scent so I'm looking forward to comments below and let me guys know what you think we got the Pat McGrath mascara which I am so 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 excited to try this out you guys like that is probably one of my top favorites um, and of course we got the conditioner like the leave-in milk conditioner from drunk elephant which is incredible. So overall, I think this is a great icon box. Um, I'm happy. I'm happy with it. So let me know what you guys think down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. If you did like this video, please give me a big old thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.